hey guys it's your girl pixie and i'm back with another video if you guys are new to my channel welcome to pixie's world if you guys are not new welcome back um today's video is basically gonna be entitled put your phone down basically eliminating distractions guys um but before we get into the video guys please like please comment please share please subscribe and please be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms <laughs> Entitled put your phone down <laughs> and it's basically about like eliminating distractions or basically your phone could be the main reason why you are not um getting done what you need to get done um so back in the day guys we are in a internet media technology um world right now that we living in um i'm sorry before we get into the video guys i did want to show you my nails i love them these were not originally how I planned my nails to be, but it's giving like 90s old French tip vibes. And yes, I love my nails. Follow me on Instagram at Painted by Pixie underscore dot zero O guys. And if you are in the Philadelphia area, please book your appointment with your girl. Um guys, sorry about that. But yeah, so we are living in a we are living in a generation of internet media and fast 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 and um basically immediate and instant gratification and our phones contribute a lot to um our, our demise i'm gonna just say that um it contributes a lot to our demise um guys so yes this world is a distraction social media is fake guys everything we see on social media like all right, I was watching, I don't, I don't remember, I was watching a commercial today, and the person was like put together looking nice, and then I was thinking to myself, like, what does that person look like, you know, when the, the cameras go off or whatever? They take that makeup off, they take, they take that costume off, they take that designer off, and they walk, or they go home just like me and you, like, I'm saying all that to say that these people are regular people. They look like we do, even if they have a nice body. Somebody put an extra strike of glitter on it, or toned it up, or sculpted it, sculpted it, or edited it. I'm not saying I'm not. It's not to throw shade on nobody, but it's just like what you see on the media is very is heightened up. It's heightened up ten times more than um what it is. Social media is fake, guys. Um, these are just reasons why you should probably put your phone down more often, just to make that clear. Um, the next thing I'm gonna say is. You can't get done what you need to if you're always on your phone. Now, this goes into like, y'all ever see like people on social media who got a business or whatever, or they somebody that's popping like a hood, let's just say hood celebrity or whatever. And then they be, they be, they doing good. They shining for a little bit, but then within two, three months, you see them like downfall. You know why? Because they always on their phone. How can you... Be able to get all this stuff done, all this stuff done, all this stuff done, and always be on your phone. Like, unless you are a content creator and you're really, really getting buzzed, yeah, you might, and, and even, even with that, you might be getting buzzed, but are you getting paid? Are you getting paid or are you just on the internet? Like, keep that in mind, guys. You can't always be getting at a dollar if you're always on your phone. Like, unless you're, or you're getting paid and that's just what you do, you know what I mean? Um, but if that's not what you do for a living, you can't be painting five products that you need to be painting and you always on the phone like it's just it's just not gonna work like that um people have too much access to you with this phone what i mean by that is like email you got a youtube you got a instagram account a facebook account a tiktok account a snapchat account and then what's that new thing threads on instagram it's too much like it's too much like if you don't answer your phone they gonna contact you here like you ever get on the internet or whatever or like you you like you you check your, your instagram for like a little bit or whatever social media that you want to check and then you just only intend on like going on there for such a for a couple minutes and then somebody see you online so then they like call your phone it's like just because you see i'm active doesn't mean that i'm like ready to talk like it's just too it's like a tracking device like Put, being on your phone is a tracking device. I don't have Facebook anymore, guys. I deleted that. I did right while I haven't got to go a couple stories back. 
Um, I've been deleting my Instagram, my Facebook account though. Like a, it's been over a year now. It's been like a year or some change now. Um, I, I deleted it around December of not last year, but the following year. I just got tired of just the it's, Facebook for friends is not a place for friends. Okay. Um, the next thing I'm gonna say is like it's too much of your business. Like you know how we we we'll get we'll get like something or we do something and we'll post 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 and then next thing you know somebody asking for this asking for that asking for that you be like damn like I should never posted this or like people know what you're doing or where you about to go or what you about to do is it's like people know too much of your business and subconsciously you know we get mad we post the stuff and subconsciously like. We don't do it on purpose, but then we got somebody knowing that we was mad at so-and-so last week because we made like an indirect post. Too many people just know your business on the, um, on, 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 on the social media, on your phone. Um, if you're not on one social media, you're usually on the other. You're hopping. So it's just like too much presence. And that's the, that's the next thing that I was going to say. Too much presence. Um, it's like, how can people miss you if you're always available and you're always active? Like when it comes to your business, like you got to do what you got to do. But when it comes to your personal, it's just like, you you just got to, it's just, it's too much presence. You don't want everybody, you don't need to be seen every single day, guys. You just don't need to be seen. Um, Let your business be seen. Let your talent, let your skill be seen. But you, like, no. Like, especially if you don't have nothing going on and you just on there just to be on there. Child, you ain't got, you, you for the socials. Um, The next thing I'm going to say is too much time, which I said earlier, you spending all your time just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. It's a mistake of mine. Like I'll look up and I ain't have nothing done or like I'll be scrolling and then I'll scroll and then somebody call me and then they did that. And then I'll look up like where all my time went. I wanted to do this, 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 and this today. And it's just like, I looked up and I was just on my phone the whole time. Um, put your phone in the next room, put it on, do not disturb, delete social medias off your screen, take off the notifications, do what y'all got to do. Um, the next thing I'm going to say is, um, it's killing your productivity and concentration. Like I said, every time you hear a ding, 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 or you get bored, like, oh, if you ever like in, go on Instagram, that ain't even an app that you meant to click on, but it's just your pattern that you just click on it. It's just, if you, how are you drawing or reading a scripture or listening to this when you always on your phone? And then even if you are listening to it, you scrolling, you're not concentrating. Even me, like I'll be watching a movie and just be all on social media. Like, girl, that's, this is leisure time. Like, chill. What are you doing? Um, the next thing I'm going to say is the time that you're spending on your phone. You could be building, working out, drawing, and et cetera, et cetera. Like, you be on your phone and you could have been journaling or at least you're going to be on your phone, edit some videos or something. But you two hours of scrolling or even a half an hour of scrolling could have been a half an hour you used to do some jumping jacks or something like that. Or to come up with a business plan or watch a half an hour video on how to whatever it is you need to do for your business or your growth. Um, the next thing I'm going to say is killing romance, relationships. It's killing relationships with friends, family. God is killing romance. Like, you go out with your friends, you all in your phone. You with your partner, y'all all in your phone. Like, you be, you you go out with, you with your friends and y'all just on your phone. Like, nobody's even paying attention to each other. Nobody's even, we so busy, we can't appreciate what we got in front of us because we too busy looking at what's on the phone, what's on the phone. Like, we don't appreciate, you know, everything got to be snapped and take a picture of and it's just like, how are we enjoying what's going on? And we, and, and we, we all got our head down on the phone. Um, the next thing that I'm going to say is... Mm, fire truck guy, sorry. The next thing I'm going to say is it makes you worrying about the wrong things. Like, yes, I want to indulge in, like, social media and all that. And I, all right, yeah, Nikki and Megan beef it. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. I laughed at a video or two. But you go down a rabbit hole. You want to look at every video, every commentary, every... Like, you already got to the point, the first video, like, how many videos you got to watch to know that Megan really ate, ate Nikki up? Like, we all know that. You ain't got to watch 80 videos. Um, the next thing I want to say is, um, it kills self-esteem and it makes you depressed because you're worrying about what other people doing. You're comparing yourself to other people. you like, why they don't have this? Why you don't got that? I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all guys, a lot of these people that y'all follow on social media is lying. Okay? I, 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 so, you know, I, I still dance or whatever. And it was this guy who came in his user's name. It was a guy who came to my club or whatever. 
And he would came in there and didn't spend no money. He just was sitting there. Mind you, he got all these followers on Instagram. He do tattoos. I ain't gonna. I don't know his name, so I can't say it anyway. I don't remember. I don't be caring about stuff like that. And it's like you got all this clout, but you don't got no money. Like you just look like an ordinary person. Like people, people be frauding on social media. You got people who who, who are trendsetters and and you know what I mean, and they sleeping with ten people in Atlanta. Like, everybody want to move to Atlanta. They don't tell you, like, they struggle. Like, everybody, they out there living a the high life, but they got, like, five roommates. They ain't got no place to go. Like, y'all seen Love and Hip Hop? Like, a lot of them be homeless. Like, come on now. It's more than the socials. It's more than just being seen, guys. Um, The next thing I'm going to say is it makes you spend money. There's so many advertisements and commercials and dumb stuff on there that we don't need. That we, oh, we see it. We want it. Like, just too much. Um, The next thing I'm going to say is, is spiritually... So this probably gonna sound crazy, guys, but it's basically spiritually, it's closing. All right, blah, blah, blah. it is closing your mental and spiritual portal. And what I mean by that is like you so focused on scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. You gotta be moving, gotta be listening to something, gotta have music out of playing, gotta have this, gotta be this, gotta be that. Something gotta be going. And when you like got a second to like meditate and calm down and clear your mind and whether whether you on your phone or because you bored, you want to go call somebody else, or you want to go get on social media and go, well, let me go live and let me do that. You not getting time to really think about like, say you wanted to start that business, sit down with yourself. Really, social media is not going to tell you what to do with that business. Getting on a phone call with that friend is not going to get on so tell you what to do with that social media. Getting on live is not going to tell you what to do to start your business. You blocking that quiet time, that praying time, that meditation time, that time where you can get the answers. To what's your next your next step? You you always on social media and you worry about social media and you notifications and your mind is going. You don't have a mental clarity. I know I can't explain what I mean by um social um spiritual portal portal mental portals, but if you know you know if you know you know I'm gonna just say that. Um, the next thing I'm gonna say is um focusing on you and and and, and um your own rules in life doing you like on social media is trends it's what's the hottest what's the latest like it don't matter like do what make you happy if you want to wear an orange sweater in summertime wear your orange sweater in summertime like i mean not to be that dramatic but like worry about your own stuff you make your own rules how relationships should go on social media or the guy should be paying this and he can't take you to cheesecake factory because that's this not what's in. What if that guy that took you to the Cheesecake Factory was the best person you ever met in your life? Who cares? Who cares if y'all going to the museum? Who cares? It don't gotta be seen and you displaying it on social media and oh they brought me thousand roses with the flowers with the with the dollars around them. Like what if that person make you feel like the most amazing person in the world? It's not a competition. It's not to outshine nobody. It's not to make nobody mad. That's another thing we get on the internet making somebody mad. And the indirect post that the person probably not going to see it or they're going to look at it and keep being a corny person that they are. Like, trying to get somebody's attention, trying to make somebody mad. Like, live your life. If you if you start worrying about trying to make somebody else, you'll be fine. That was the best advice I've ever, not even got, but learned. Like, you know, when I was going to get an attack and all that and my ex-girlfriend and my friend and all that. Y'all the videos all down there. They down there. Um... The best thing I did was, like, not try to clap back. And I'm a queen clap back. Okay, I'm a Capricorn, guys. I am queen clap back. Um, ugh, ugh, I'm glad I, I'm mad I pointed it out in my video that y'all now look crazy. But, yes, I am queen clap back. I, or I used to be. I grad, I'm a graduation. I'm a graduated queen, queen clap back. Okay? But I retired. But, um, yeah, so you want to do stuff. The, the the best thing, I'm sorry, the best thing I've ever did was to just, the best revenge is no revenge. The best revenge is working on yourself. The best revenge is acting like that never happened and not dwelling on your past and moving and putting more energy. Let your frustration go into your future, not your past. I'm going to just say that. That was the best, probably one of the best things I've learned about life and just like when it comes to people who do something wrong to you. Anybody who ever did you wrong, I promise you God will bless, come back and bless you right in front of their face, guys. Um, that's a whole nother story. 
I just want y'all to know that it's more that life than what's going on in social media. It's a beautiful world. Smell the coffee. Smell the flowers. Smell what's going on around you. Listen. Um, and then it makes you unappreciative. You can't, God is not going to bless you with more if you don't appreciate or take care of what you already got. And when you on your phone and social media, you looking at what everybody else got and you don't even know these people are not even living happy. Um, guys, just stay off your phone a little bit more. Take a little two week break, a week break and just see how it's going to change your life, guys. Um, I got a little, little video coming for y'all about my little break I'm about to take. I'm going on a little cleanse detox. Um, I will get back at y'all in the results in like two weeks, guys. Give me, give me, you know, I, I got y'all. Y'all already know what I'm going to say next. Please pray to God. Please protect y'all peace. And I will see y'all in the next video. Okay. Child, I am about to turn into a damn outfit, okay? I'm bedazzling and just making outfits. Guys, follow me on my Instagram. The cash flow quadrant. Support, like, four ways to earn 